What's up guys? Alaska Matt here from the Survival University. Um, we've been tasked with doing a couple of videos on uh, kind of off the wall or maybe, you know, um, survival tips and tricks that people may not know about. Um, so we get to kind of channel our, our inner MacGyver a little bit more than normal. So today I'm going to show you how to open a can without a can opener or a knife or a Leatherman. So here I am just out on my front porch. Um, I'm going to be using a piece of concrete. You could use a brick, you can use rocks, you could use a broken piece of cinder block, you can use anything that's really rough and abrasive. But I'm going to show you how to get into your favorite uh, no name, no brand uh, canned fish product. Um, so let's get started. So essentially, um, you know, obviously this can didn't have a pull tab or anything like that, you know, uh, and for the sake of this, I don't have my can opener, I don't have, you know, a knife, I don't have a Leatherman, I don't have pliers, I don't have anything. I've just got a can of, of delicious fishiness that I just simply can't get into, um, but I do have a hard abrasive surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind off this lip here, not the bottom of the can, right, although I imagine that could work as well, but it's much better to do it from the top of the can. Um, kind of six one way, half a dozen the other if your can is crimped on both sides, as you can see here. So I'm going to be grinding on this side. So all you have to do, and granted you are going to make a mess, so if you're in camp, uh, in your shelter, uh, maybe don't do this if you are worried about uh, wildlife. Um, but if not, if you're good to go, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to flip the can upside down and then just grind away. Um, I apologize for the noise. But you got to do what you got to do when you're hungry, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm starting to make some progress there. If you can see, I'm actually grinding that metal off because this lip is folded down and crimped down. But we'll keep grinding until we get in there. There we go. You can see the liquid coming out. That ought to do it. I'll visually inspect the best I can to try to make sure I've gotten through on all parts of that lip or rim. Just because I don't want to have to flip it back over and keep grinding if I don't have to. Uh, might, looks like I might have missed a little bit right here on this side, so I'll grind that a bit more and we should be good to go. Yep, there we go. So now, how do you get this out? Um, I've experimented with it. I've pushed down very carefully to kind of try to lift up one end. That kind of helps. If you squeeze the can, that can work, but you have to be a little bit careful. You're not going to squirt yourself, or if you squeeze too hard, it's going to just shoot all your, your goodiness out. So I'm finding works best is actually give this a tap against your rock or your surface, right? So I'm just going to tap very lightly just to kind of, oh, see, there we go. Got it. Still made a little bit of a mess, but in there like swimwear. Although, as a side note, you might want to be careful when you're doing this because uh, you might start attracting wildlife. No, kitties. It's my tuna, kitties. It's my tuna. Meh. 